Hey guys, welcome to the first video of our finite element simulation challenge. So in the first video, I'm going to talk about the basic or the fundamentals of this challenge, what you need to take care of, where you can find materials, and also show you the tools that we are going to use. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you the prizes that you can win. So I would personally recommend that you maybe print out the PDF that you will show you where you can find them in a few moments. And also we are now at the SimScale homepage. And the first thing, of course, you need to do is to create an Onship account, but more importantly, a SimScale account, which you will use to perform all the simulations we are going to talk about in this series. Now, every aspect that will be relevant for the challenge is covered in the PDF. So I will briefly talk about the points mentioned in the PDF. And if you have any questions, make sure to put them down in the comment section or make sure to contact me via social media as always. And I'm happy to help. So the first thing we are going to do now is to switch to the website. So you go to engineered-mind.com, which is my website. Go scroll a bit down, go to the blog posts and click on the Simwing FEM simulation challenge. What you can see is a bit of description in the, in the first paragraph. And the most important thing is, of course, that you have a SimScale account. That's very important. And for CAD modification, so the model modification of your component, you need Onshape. It's not necessary that you use Onshape. You can use any other tool as well uh, that you are comfortable with. But I would personally like to see you use Onshape because SimScale has a built-in plugin module that you can use to... Um, upload all the models that you have created on Onshape. So an important thing to note here is that once you created your project or once you create your project and share it on social media, you add the tag Simwing Challenge 2019 to the project and also use it as a hashtag. Let's say if you post your simulation project on Twitter, LinkedIn, or for instance, Instagram. And the simulation challenge will be finished Friday 31st, January 2020. I have here 2019 will be fixed in a few minutes, but yeah, it's the 31st of January 2020. To, which is also important for the ranking is that you add a project description to your project. And I've put a link in the blog post so you can have a look at this example project. And most importantly, you need to add a high resolution post processing image, not an image, but several images. And this will be taken into account for the ranking, as I've just mentioned. And we will cover post processing in the third part of this video series. I've already mentioned the shares and likes on social media, which will be relevant for the ranking. In the next section, you can download the instructions. So just click on the link and you can download free PDF about the FAQs, everything is mentioned there. And let's briefly go through them. Uh, you can copy a project from another user, but make sure it's not 100% copied, but just take inspiration from this project. If it's copied and I can see that, um, and you have not put any work into the project and just copied it, then it will be excluded from the challenge. Secondly, you can also have an academic or professional plan. It depends, like maybe you have applied for the academic plan in the past, but you don't, please do not apply for the academic plan for this challenge. And uh, the reason is that only people who write a thesis or are involved in formula student teams will receive an academic plan or educators. And for professional plan, you have to pay. But if you have these plans, um, it's important to note that you should not set your projects for this challenge to private, but rather leave them public so that other people can have a look at it. And I can also see your project and maybe intervene in case you have any problems with your, pro with your project. So if you run out of core hours, core hours basically are the computational resources that you can use. It's something like money that you can use for your computation. And uh, once you have exhausted your core hours, you can write me an email or contact me on social media. and I'll make sure to give you a few core hours, but I'm very sure that you won't exhaust over 
thousand core hours for this challenge i'm quite sure and we will talk about core usage and mesh convergence studies in the second or third part so the fourth question is can i work with friends on the competition of course you can but please note that the prizes that you can win are for one person and one person only so we have three winners and the prizes that will be sent to you are for one person i mean you can share the stickers or whatever but that's really up to you and no worries i mean you can rotate inside of your group because we will have future challenges in the future and i mean we are a community we will help each other and uh, i don't want to be i don't want to have any disputes inside of your group so just chill there will be future challenges so stay tuned for that and as i've already mentioned prizes you can win this cool simscale mug i will put some stickers inside that you can share with your friends and a card holder for your phone that you can put on your case as well as a cool stress cloud that you can squeeze instead of punching a wall you just squeeze this simscale cloud it's quite so, oh my God. Yeah, these are the prices. It's not that much, but it should just keep you motivated. Share it on social media and also show your friends that you have done a good job in the simulation challenge. So these are the basics. So you need account or accounts in case you want to apply for or sign up for OnShop as well. And download the PDF, read through the blog post. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section, as I have already mentioned. And what we can do is either live sessions on the weekend, Saturday or Sunday, or we do a Q&A video that I can prepare every weekend, Saturday or Sunday, as you want, and to cover every question that, uh, questions that you have. So I will make sure that nobody will be left alone and every, everyone gets support, if needed, of course. But I think I've thoroughly described every step that you need to take care of during the simulation and adaptation process of your CAD model. So I would say you're very well equipped for this challenge. And with that being said, I would say we'll keep it as it is and see you in the second video. Peace. Mm -hmm.